the incident with Raheem Sterling yesterday is, is very much on our minds. Heavy criticism for Sterling. We can only bring awareness to, um, to the situation and light to the situation. It's now time for the people that are in charge to um, put a real stamp on it. Sitting there, they come look at that. That says everything you need to know. It's always education and understanding that racism is a thing that's uh, been a part of our culture for a while. Highlighted, unfortunately, the perpetrator we believe to be. I think speaking up and uh, taking a stand, a significant stand. There has been no greater champion in the last two years in football's fight against racism than Raheem Sterling. Still, it appears the largely white attendance goers could care less. Meet Ian Baldry, a 58-year-old racist giving the finger to local media as he exits court. Back in December, the clever Sterling, just 25 years old, scored a goal against Bournemouth at the Etihad Stadium where Raheem's club, Manchester City, plays their home matches. Per the Manchester Evening News, as Mr. Sterling ran over to his fans, Baldry made a racist comment towards him, the court heard. His comments were overheard by other fans in the Colin Bell stand, who told the match stewards before the matter was brought to the attention of police. Baldry was found to have abused Sterling and was handed a five-year ban from attending matches. Along with a directive, complete a 12-month community order with 200 hours in community service and a fine. Baldry's lawyer pettifogged the details, and provided an interesting twist. This isn't a case where a player from the opposite team has been targeted. This comment is in fact made when Raheem Sterling scores a goal to take City to 2-1. He is one of Mr. Baldry's favorite players. He says he would give him a hug and kiss him for scoring that goal. Baldry, 58 and from Bradford, pleaded guilty to the charge that he had abused the forward when Sterling scored. In that very same match, 57-year-old James McConnell a friend of Baldry was also charged of racially abusing Bournemouth defender Tyrone Mings, 26 years old, and a steward at another match. Sterling's outspokenness is needed. He went on the record saying one group of people who have the money to make clubs, take notice, are sponsors. The next time that a club or governing body fails to act appropriately against racism, I would love to see that company pull its money out and make a moral stand. Just days ago, Mario Balotelli, an Italian, was abused in his home country by supporters of 3rd place Lazio, then 11th place Verona. When he played for Inter Milan, rival fans taunted him with shouts of, there are no black Italians. And he suffered more insults playing for AC Milan against AS Roma in 2013. The insufferable and demented punishment black players face just because of the color of their skin must cease. The emotional toll has even led some footballers to quit the sport. Why have more sponsors not banded together with Sterling and attempted to combat racism from entering the stands? From restricting the infliction of such prejudices to be passed down, Sterling is right, but he cannot do this alone. We can only bring awareness to, um, to the situation and light to the situation. It's now time for the people that are in charge to um, put a real stamp on it.